hello um guys welcome to another video this will be about my fourth video um today we will be discussing five, four to five fingerboard hacks to do um if you don't have something you can use this instead and stuff like that to fix your fingerboard so let's get into the video so first off lock nuts lock nuts are um basically bolts for a fingerboard except they have this spacer in them to make them tighter to the board but sometimes they get stripped and wore out over time so they come loose pretty easily even if you keep tightening them on, on and off the reason I wanted to make this video is because I just got done um, my lock nuts stripped out on my fingerboard my mom called my name to get the trash I won't that, let that ruin our video though that's pretty embarrassing Anyway, like I was saying, I just got done, like, literally just now, I decided to make this video to help you guys. Um, my lock nuts just stripped out. I was like, oh crap, this is bad, how am I going to do this? And then, um, I figured out I could just use a tech deck bolt. So I took a tech deck bolt, and I took a very, very small bit of super glue and laid it on top so that will act as the um, the lock to um, keep it on the threading um, for the fingerboard and then when it was done drying I put it on and it got super tight I if you usually if you put a uh, tech tech bolt on a pro set of trucks um, they'll slip right off not even threaded they'll just like you just slip it right off so I took a pair of pliers, squeezed them together to make the threads tighter, and then I laid a layer of super glue on top to act as act like that was the um the lock for the thing so it would grip. See? So um where is it? Here's a lock nut on my fingerboard. This is the only one remaining, all the other ones stripped out. And as you can see, it has a white spacer on top to uh, stop it from stripping. Or, uh, not stripping, but like take coming off. But look at this one. You guys can see that or not? Camera has bad focus. That's a tech deck bolt in case you can't see that. Um, so I layered a thing of super glue on it. Anyway, I just discussed this. Why am I saying it again? Anyway, that's just a good idea to. Um, to make your own lock nut. Pinch it with pliers, make it a little uh, skinnier, or not skinnier, but um, not skinnier, but like to make it smaller so the threads are on tighter. Next hack. The next hack is cleaning your grip tape. This only works on foam grip tape if you have sandpaper grip tape. It won't work. Um, tape. If you get you some tape, I don't want to clean my grip tape right now. I don't feel like going and getting tape. My my grip tape's not even that dirty anyway. Um, but if you get tape and layer it onto the um the foam tape and just like tap it on like that and rip it off, your grip tape will look brand new. Um, I don't have any tape at the moment, but um. I'll do it in one of my videos to show you guys next time I get a chance to get tape. That's just a quick hack. Next hack, our third one. Third hack. This is, um, this isn't really a hack. Oh, I just got this right off the back. Um, I have a rail. This is my rail. It's a real it rail. That's why it's weird. It's a cheaper rail. Cause can't afford expensive Black River obstacles. And then, um, um, if you want a rail to use instead of blowing all this money on an actual fingerboard rail, just go to your nearest uh, hardware shop or carpenter store and go to the bath section or get get a towel rack or a door handle. I recommend a towel rack because they're longer, but that will work just as fine as an actual rail. I'm not copying off of this of any video. I came up with that myself because I go to the Home Depot a lot. To get supplies to uh, work on the shed that I have um, in 
kind of my backyard. It's covered in a whole bunch of crap. And um, and I also go to the Home Depot to get um, sandpaper and supplies that I need to make fingerboards to sell for you guys. So that's a um, quick hack. Next hack. The next hack is cleaning your wheels. These this hack will um this hack won't work with uh, plastic wheels. You need urethane wheels to um, do it. But if you take some tape and like put it on your desk like flat like so um I'm losing my train of thought um if you lay it on the like flat on the desk and you just run your wheels on it like this then it will like catch all the dirt off your wheels since they're urethane wheels they pick up dirt easily and they're more sticky but if you layer it on top of the tape then the um the tape is so sticky it'll just rip the dirt right off of it that's also a quick hack I think the first one is probably the longest hack we'll have next hack is super interesting for you guys hack number five our final hack so the next hack is making your own fingerboard stickers actually this is way simpler than you guys think all you need is a pair of scissors and a post office so you go to your post office if you live in the USA and you're uh, viewing this. Get these. These United States Postal Service's priority mail stickers. Them things are like paper. Well, not, not like paper, but if you go to the post office, you can get a stack like this big for free. Um, they hand them out in these little carts, like, like stands, and that's also where you get your boxes and stuff. So you can just get a, you can get about a hundred of them for free. And here's the thing, um, if you get one of these, you can uh, do your design on it. I had it. Was my laptop? Do your design on it. Blah 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 blah. Let's say I were to use this Colt right there. I just drew something on it. Let's say I were to use that. All, everything that I use is handmade. My mold, my everything, everything is handmade. Um, and then we would take a pair of scissors and we would cut this out. Instead of having a wax paper or a printer or anything like that, just just use these. It's way easier. It's for free. All you need is a marker, one of these, and a pair of scissors. Your daily um home home supplies. Um, yeah. That's our fifth hack. Um, you can put any design on it. Just cut it as big as possible. I don't know. But I usually make um, a lot of stickers out of that. They really do come in handy. Um, I just um, thought of a... We might go with six hacks. Six fingerboard hacks. Next hack. So, actually, when I said I make all my stuff out of a fingerboard mold... Um, Boom, idea popped in my head. So basically, um, I don't really feel like going and getting my mold um, because it's in my shed. It's all outside. I'm gonna go get it for the sake of the video though. So basically, I just went all the way to the shed, which is all the way in the back of the property. We have a pretty big piece of property. I don't know how big it is, but it's pretty big, so. Freaking hangnail. Anyway, this is my mold. I made it myself. This thing has been used multiple times. It's a bit destroyed. So basically, if you're wondering how I made this, I just took a piece of a 2x4. You can kind of see it, how it was a piece of 2x4 at the time. And then I took a tech deck, deck this ain't a tech deck, but I put it on the side of the 2x4. I put it on the side of the 2x4. I traced the shape and I cut it with a bandsaw. So now I've got myself a mold. This is the Colt fingerboard mold. And another thing is about molds, you can also use two tech deck decks. And you could, um, I know this. You could, um, uh, what do you call it? You can, with a tech deck deck, you can put the veneer inside of a 
inside of the two tech decks and compact it together with A clamps and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's, that's it for the mold. I'm pretty sure that was our sixth hack. Um, that will conclude our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. One of my favorite hacks out of this was probably the mold and the um the stickers. The, the stickers will come in handy. Oh yeah, and the lock knots. I, I definitely recommend doing that to your fingerboard. It works really well. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this day, today's video. And I'm gonna, um, pu I'm gonna publish it right now. Gotcha. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like and subscribe. So, bye-bye.